Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Grounded. It's been a little while since I last played. I had a lot of stuff going on. So I'm back into the swing of things, and on this episode we need to go back over here towards Wendell's chair, and we need to look for the termite chompers so we can get the axe and start progressing from there. And I read some of the comments before, and some people were saying that as soon as they get the chompers, go back and craft the axe, which I will do that. I should also mention that I still have to do those mixers, and I was thinking that maybe I might actually just do like a live stream of me going to all the mixers. There's a ton of them, and maybe knocking them out like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But let's go get started. All right, I'll set my spawn point for here, and let's go explore. I think I wanted to go towards the wood pile that I saw when I was up on the porch over there, so I'm gonna head in this direction until I find something different and new. Oh, a door! Alright, so that's broken and it looks- yeah, it's locked. Here are two mushrooms. That was always a thing, wasn't it? <gasps> Hi, buddy! Let me kill you! <gasps> I got it! I... I got it! I probably shouldn't have been able to kill that. Twinkling shell? A wondrously iridescent shell that can be combined with items to bring out hidden power. Okay. Oh, that was so cool. Finally got one. This does not look good. I hear something. <gasps> is it- that's it? Wait, what is it weak to? Salty, let's go. me slower. Oh, he hurts. He hurts a lot. Oh, I can't take on three, though. That's crazy. <laughs> Nice, I got it. Nice! So... Where did I get there? I got termite part and I got the termite chompers. Good. So what does it cost again to make? Because I can just head back immediately and quickly craft that. People leather. Okay. Termite axe. Yes, I can. Nice. So I finally have that. So I can probably put that there and I'll put... My old, uh, where did it go? I'll put my old one in there. And let's scan these three items real quick. Okay, so let's do the twinkling shell. Scarab, stop scarab. Nice. I already know all that, cool. Pear glue, cool. Alright, let's go get that pupa leather like I was talking about. Alright, so down in the trench, I want to say uh, it's literally just like these little shells. I know I've seen them before. That's it, right there. Pew! 
pupa hide. I'll have to analyze it, but let me collect up as much as I can. Also, do you guys know what that is on my screen? You see how it's like purpley on the edge? Every time I go to kill something now, my screen's purple and I don't understand why that's happening. Like, I don't... I think maybe it has something to do with the story progression, but if you guys know what it is, could you let me know in the comments below? Pupa hide. I only have 14 of it, so... Yep. You can put it on there. Now, is that gonna turn it into leather? And let me check real quick. Can I craft? I can't craft it into leather, but it's probably because I haven't even researched it. So let me do this. Let me first grab one of those. And I never did bricks. And as you guys can tell, I've been making a ton of bricks on the side. I even have a box upstairs that's also full of bricks because I was planning on making outposts all across the yard, like towers that I could just zip line to, to make transportation a little bit easier. And I do like the way that the bricks look. Okay, so let's analyze that first. Yep, pupa leather. I knew it. Wow, look at all the mushroom stuff. Alright, let's see what it costs to craft that pupa. No! What? The pupa... Five pupa hide? Am I reading that correctly? Pupa leather. So you need five... Wait. Yeah, I need five of these to craft one... So, does me putting it on this leather rack, this jerky rack here, does that s bypass that? You know what? I will, I will wait, and I will find out. Once this jerky rack is done, I will find out whether or not that's correct. Okay, so next morning, it did. It made the leather. So... Okay, so I that I knew it was gonna do that because that's how it did it with the berry leather. Okay, so we can put the rest of this on there, and I have more stuff to analyze. I'm pretty sure I also have where was it bug rubber to do, and I also have ladybird shell. All right, that gave me nothing. Rusty spear tick. Okay, that's cool as heck. A ladybird shield? What? No way. There's another shield in the game. And that gave me nothing. Okay. So, pretty sure now I can craft my hammer. Black ox hammer. Yes, I can. Let's go, baby. So now I can collect rust, which is located on top of the trash can by the trash pile. I did see that when I was over there. And that could make me the rusty spear, which does infection damage, it said. Interesting. So now that I have the hammer and the hatchet, I can go turn on that thing for Wendell at the chair. <gasps> lint! That's lint! No way. Is there more of that? It was like, it was all blackened out. gonna ignore everything for right now. Oh, 
Oh, please make it. Yes! Okay. <gasps> I can get sour stuff now. Nice. Install the scab. Okay, well what, what did that do? Activate the scab? How do I- is it on the front? Oh, button right here. Enter the crawl space beneath the shed. Biometric data transfer complete. Toenails. Okay, so now it wants me to go underneath of the the shed. Oh. Oh. Yes. So that's where I am. Okay. Oh God, is this heal basses and all that stuff? I'll tell you what. Let me craft a few more things back at base. This is going to be dark, isn't it? This is going to be really hectic. I don't even know where this is going to take me. I I have no idea what lab this is taking me to. Whether it's over here, or if it's over to the right. Alright, let's analyze this, and it should give me some lit rope. Yep. And I'm assuming that I can craft lint rope. And it's used in a lot of items. So... You ha okay, it looks like you have to put it. Two is what makes... What makes it. And I guess I put it in here? Yes. So the reason why I'm over here and not crafting the armor like I said I was is because I found more lint rope, but I the way that it works out, I think I need more, so I'm just letting it respawn and I'm exploring more while I'm letting like some of those materials like get back and regenerate into the world. But I just want to see what's over here because, again, this is the top of the the wood pile, and I just want to see what I can see here. Whoa! I glitched! <laughs> sure I had the right mutations equipped. I love that little hot loader thing now. Like, that's so useful. Uh, this area does not look good. I can hear a spider above me. Is that a wolf spider? 
Yeah, okay, so do I have... Yep, Mithridatism. What is it weak to again? Spicy, which I don't have. Okay, so this says the chip is by the edge of that water. I'm not even going to mess with the bee. I'm getting a lot of science here. Okay, well, it says that that chip is right here but that's in the water so am i right guys is this chip is this somewhere else like that i'm just not aware of like do i actually have to go through everything like where Wendell wants me like the exclamation point is that how you get to this particular burgle chip or is it somewhere else Woodpile entrance. Oh. Oh. Oh, buddy. Okay. Yep, here's where the burgle chip's gonna be, isn't it? So, let's switch to that. See, the problem is, is I'm so full right now at the moment, my inventory. All right, I'm gonna try to go through this thoroughly. Somebody had said in the comments that when I find the termite like place that it would be crazy, but I, I really didn't expect it them to whoop my my butt that hard. Plus, with them being like weak to salty, I would have imagined that I would be doing more damage. I might actually want to go back to base real quick and just properly put away some stuff and get more heals. So, I'm gonna make right turns, I guess, first. Because... Termites want you gone. I saw that. On the screen. Hmm. I guess I'll do nothing but right turns, because that's what I would normally do. Cause it's not even God dang it, I gotta get back a little bit. That was huge! Termite King! 
Oh, dude, I'm gonna get wrecked here. Does that mean there's a queen since there's a king? Alright, there he is. Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! God, that thing had some health, and I got a part. It's termite King Carapace. Oh my dear goodness, that is no joke. Wow, the health on that. So, if this is sticking with right turns, mushroom chunk? Oh, just regular mushrooms. Alright, so. Really? Oh! Oh, well, that's it! I did it! Damn, this place is huge. Alright. All right, that is definitely the last bit. Hey, there it is. That's where you've been. How the hell do you get up there? What do I have on me? Can I scan some of the stuff? I can scan that and rust. Oh, and the, yep, I'll do that. Oh, I forgot. I took off my dandelion tuft. I took it off. That's why I couldn't, uh, jump. Or I didn't, uh, deploy my parachute. Nice! Is there anything in here? Yep. The eyes. They are always watching. Alright. Let's see what this unlocks for me. Splinter arrow. I thought as much, but... Let's see what Rust does. Nothing. Ooh, moth. Tiger, mosquito, rapier. Moth stuff. Hmm, interesting. Some more creatures I haven't found yet. Stuff termite king. Cool. Such a conspiracy would be beyond this capabilities. Something darker is afoot. Ominent, perhaps. I knew it might be too great a risk to liberate that equipment from them. Whatever it is, it is always watching. Let's see, are those Ominent. tier surely? <gasps> they are they tier three. That's cool. I'm gonna craft some of those because I've been using the crow feather ones. Alright, I need to give the chip to Burgle. Four thousand science. We'll do. Thank you. Come again. We'll do, Burgle. Alright. Let's see what Ooh. 
take that. And that. I have 25,000! Wow, okay. So... What I will do... Is... I'll do one more stamina. And... I'll do the arrow. And then I'll do max consumable later. What can I buy? So the woodpile chip. A wizard hat? <laughs> what, that, no, that's not a thing, is it? When pretending to be a magic slinging wizard. <laughs> oh, it's, it's actually not joking. What? What do you mean, wizard? Is there magical... Huh. <laughs> Purgle's an idiot. Okay, <laughs> so Black Ox Burger. Damage resistance, max he Damn, this is a good one. Very good one. Well fed meal, busting harvest done. That spot. Okay, a mint staff. A frosty staff. Made of ice caps, fresh mints, spicy staff, sour staff. What is this? Bought. Bought. Uh, I'll do lures. Sign set, sign set, acorn turret. I still haven't gotten that. How much do I have left? Yep, I'll buy that. I never bought the scab scanners, so I'll get that too. Uh, I don't have the daredevil mutation, but scab scanner science. An upgrade for the scab scanner model that allows you to detect by nearby rope. Okay, I'll do that one. Alright, so I'm back down to like 100 science, so not much at all. Nice. Alright, so now what I need to do, I guess, is go back and craft up a couple of things. Like, I want to craft an arrow, I want to do all that stuff. I think what I will do is, the part where I went over to here, where the entrance to the, the undershed, I'll leave that for the next episode. Um, but I do want to hear back from you guys. Number one, do you know what that purple thing was flashing on my screen was? And... Would you guys be interested in me streaming this to do some of the mixers? I mean, I know that's probably more like sitting there and waiting and, you know, defending off different waves, but I feel like that would be a perfect time to do it. Um, let me know in the comments below on that. But first, let's go ahead and figure out what this lint rope is going to give us. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Great. Oh my goodness. It's ranged. <gasps> It's, it's a wizard, right? A frosty staff made of ice cap freshmen's crafted by, for, oh my god, arcane science. Uh, I don't have pine cones. Damn. Oh my god, that's cool. I'm gonna have a sour staff. That's what I want. So to make the Black Ox crossbow, which I have learned that long time back, was two pine cones. I need I need that still. There's a lot of things that I would like to craft, by the way, but I'm I just can't do it. I'll I'm not gonna craft this, nor I'm gonna craft this just yet. But there was something else that I wanted to try. That is so cool though. I, I really did not expect that. That's kinda throws me off, but at the same time it's just I don't know, it's pretty it's pretty awesome. I am gonna craft some of these though. Oh! Splinter Master, craft three arrows. Wizard Defense. That hat does. Okay. So, this is where I'm I'm not entirely sure, and I would love to hear back from you guys in the comments below. What is your recommendation for armor? Because I was reading the roly-poly, and 
I was reading the Black Ox. So one of them's a medium armor, and the other one is a tier 3, like, heavy armor. Well, they're both tier 3, but one's a heavy armor, one's a medium armor. And I know that they help out with, like, defense and with, like, damage resistance and such like that, stamina usage. But overall, what is your honest opinion? Because I don't want to just, like, build these and then upgrade using the shards that I have when I could be using them for something else. So I would love to hear back from you guys in the comments and let me know what you think about what your recommendation is for armor. Because I'm still using the, the ladybug armor, and I've upgraded that quite a bit. But that... I believe is going to do it for this episode of Grounded. On the next one, I will be going to do that Burgle entrance. Well, not Burgle entrance, but over here, the Undershed entrance. But I think that's end game. Huh. I don't know. But either way, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next or any tips or tricks. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.